Palestine Israel has been all over of late and a lot of you people are asking why are you so concerned you Bashir why are you so concerned about this and where as a Ugandan do you even fit in these things others are taking sides making comments without even knowing the root of anything <laughs> just basing their judgment of what they hear they see but to understand what is actually happening between Palestine and Israel we have to go deep down in the root cause of everything to understand the roots we have to go to the beginning and in the beginning there was a land called palestine this is how the map of palestine looked like just in 1946 but if you are to look for palestine in the map right now this <coughs> map you see those small dots you see are the current palestine the rest is israel so how did Palestine move from being this to those small parts and where did Israel come from? And before you think this is a religious war, in the land of Palestine, they lived Jews, Christians and Muslims under the Ottoman Empire in peace. And these were native Jews who were Palestinians, native Christians who were Palestinians, native Muslims who were Palestinians. So everybody was Palestinian with a difference in religion only. Where does Israel pop up? We go to Europe. That's where everything is being cooked. 1896, a man by the name of Theodor Heizo comes up with an idea of Zionism, which was basically a movement aimed at creating a Jewish state. You know, like Judaism is a religion. These people came up with an idea. We should have a country or a state which is for Jews and on their list of where they wanted to put that country my country uganda was number one on the list why because they said it was uninhabited claiming that nobody lived there there was a character called Bo bolfo Bo bolfo or something like that but that gentleman put out something called the bolfo declaration or something like that and the the, the, the pharaoh was talking about uganda as a home of the jews you can see how these fellows are really not serious. Now, fortunately, the Jewish leaders rejected that nonsense. This is rubbish. Otherwise, we would be fighting you now. <laughs> Whatsoever happened, happened, they say they gave up on Uganda. So it means whatever is happening between Palestine and Israel right now would be happening between Israel and Uganda. So, how? Does Israel change its mind from Uganda to Palestine? They use scriptures to say this land of Palestine belong to Israelites. And these people who are speaking and making these plans are native Europeans. Europeans making plans to go and settle in a land where they don't have any connection whatsoever. The only connection is they have the same religion which came from that land. So after the fall of ottoman empire immediately after world war one britain takes over the area of palestine being europeans they are supporting these europeans ideas of creating a state a country in another man's land early 1900s jews start moving from europe to the land of palestine some of them came as refugees after being killed and mishandled by hitler palestinians welcomed them very well took them like brothers in humanity but the influx as time went on increased and as the number increased they started now driving out the native owners of the land who are the palestinians un comes up with a plan of giving these white settlers who came to settle in the land of palestine a state a country of their own in another man's land but these people who are the natives say a partner no way you cannot come and make a country in my own place 19 48 israel declares itself independent state in the land of palestine that's how israel was born now since 1948 the landowners the palestinians have been fighting to get back their land which was this and they became this up to 2023 they are still fighting for their land even the little small land which is left they are still fighting for it so after understanding who came in who was there who is taking who is being taken from it's your choice to see where the injustice lies you get the point otherwise you will make big mistake as always this thing is not about religion this is about human rights 
You get the point? Salamu alaikum.